think uh, most of the people understand it and a lot of people have asked for it. You'd be surprised how many regular customers have asked for us to do that because they think that this is going to make the situation tight enough where the, either the state or the federal government will have to do something about it. Sam, do you think that dealers in other areas of the county and, and the city will take this same kind of action soon? Well, from what I understand or from what I read in the newspaper and what have you, it's going on all over the country and I just imagine it. It's, it'll probably, before long, they'll all be closed. I would hope so, anyway. Well, primarily because of my lease. The, uh, the clause of my lease says I have to be open, with very few exceptions, seven days a week. And uh, as it stands right now, it's 12 hours a day. So even though the other guys are shut down, you couldn't shut down if you want, wanted to? I could, but I, then I'd place my family and my uh, income in jeopardy, and I'm not in a position to do that. I sympathize with the other guys, but there's really nothing I can do. Well, there were 55 dealers of this locale at present, and uh, it was just a general meeting. Everybody had their chance to have their own say, and they decided that uh, due to the lack of gasoline and lack of profits and the abuse that a lot of them have been taking and some of the threats that were made, they would just stop pumping gas until they got some help. And they all generally seemed to say they would continue to do this for as long as it took to get the relief they want? Yes, sir. It was a 100% vote. I'm not really bearing the brunt, it's the customers that are bearing it. I mean, we're, we're this way every day, so it's, it's no hardship on me. But we know with the shortage of gasoline that they talked about in Washington, I don't believe it's an actual shortage, but the way they're allocating it, based on erroneous programs, is affecting the employment, not only in Maryland, but in our nation. And that affects tourism, traveling, uh, resorts, and it's going to have some effect. But maybe because of the uh, lack of traveling, people will stay within Maryland, be more home-loving and home-cooking. They'll stay here in Maryland and go to Ocean City and the other Chesapeake Bay resorts up in Garrett County, Western Maryland, and around Piedmont sections of our state. So maybe it won't have a real bad effect. We hope not.